Hey everybody, welcome back to Broken Korean. I'm here to give you an update on Nintendo Direct's June 2023 announcement today. I was at work today, so I didn't get to see it live. I've been trying to play catch up all day, getting around to it. So I'm going to break it down, react to it, and hopefully take what would be a 45 minute video down to 20 or less for you. So let's run through it real quick. And we'll be using screenshots to avoid the bots so I don't get copyright stricken because Nintendo is notorious for uh, copyright. So, first thing we've got going on today is we've got DLC coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, which is great. The year anniversary is coming up in November, so you definitely need the DLC. Never really got into Pokemon that much. Um, I'm still working my way through Brilliant Diamond, so I'm, I'm a bit behind, but it's good news for all the true fans out there because they're really waiting for it. Next, we've got Sonic Superstars coming up. Now, this is just a big update a new version of Sonic uh, side-scrolling and it's great it's what we want it's what we want from a Sonic game and now it's got a four-player local co-op mode what does that mean that means you get four people playing the same level as you taking out enemies collecting rings it's gonna be a blast next up we've got Pelia Pelia is a free-to-play sim and what does that mean well it's just gonna be it's gonna be a free game that you can download later this year and it's going to be kind of like a lot of the mobile sims that you do, where you take on tasks, do things, farming, creating, building, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I'm sure since it's free, there's going to be in-app purchases, but I don't know. But the fact that it does co online co-op is probably why this game will survive and not just disappear into the ether of the Nintendo eShop. Next up, we've got Persona 5 Tactica. Never heard of this, but it looks fun. If you've ever played Mario and Rabbids, it's the same kind of mechanics. Or if you've played more advanced, like tower defense games, you're going to be used to this. So this has looks to have a much more complex story. This is going to be so much fun. I'm definitely intrigued to play this thing. Next up, we've got Myth Force coming out. Now, what is Myth Force? To me, Myth Force looks exactly like Dragon Lair. And I'll date myself for saying this, but I remember playing Dragon's Lair in an arcade with quarters, and I am so in for this. The graphics are going to be very cartoonish, get that that nice 70s cartoon vibe, early 80s cartoon vibe. So it's going to be, it's not just graphics, it's more cartoonish. Like Dragon's Lair, or another comparable thing would be like um, Cuphead. So I can't wait for this. I'm going to order it whenever it comes out. I didn't know I needed this game, but I do now. And next we've got Splatoon Splatfest. Now, announced for J July. I've never gotten into the Splatoon games. I actually purchased Splatoon 3 for the first time about a month ago and have been playing it. The only problem I have with it is it doesn't have local, local multiplayer, but that's okay. I am having a blast with it. It's a fun game. I mean, it's just a straight up fun game. Like if you kind of got burnt out on Fortnite and things like that, Splatoon's there for you. And this will be my first Splatfest. I'm kind of curious on how this goes and how this works, but I will be there for it. Next, we've got the next announcement was Detective Pikachu Returns. So Detective Pikachu, this is the second iteration of it. I didn't play the first one. I knew about it. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed the movie. I really did. I didn't like the ending so much, but I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was good. So that being said, I might actually pick, pick this up just to play it for a bit. Uh, it's just going to be a fun game. I'd rather play this than a regular Pokemon game because it has story. The next we've got is Super Mario RPG. Now, some of you people may remember this from the Super Nintendo. I kind of do, but I pretty much forgot about it. Uh, it's one of those games I played, didn't really own it, but other friends had it, played it, just didn't, didn't remember. But now that it's going to be ported from the SNES, updated with more graphics, more abilities, more things, I'm definitely going to get this one. This is one that's going to be around that we're going to remember like like Odyssey or uh, Mario World. It's, we're going to remember this one. They also did a quick announcement after this about they're going to doing an unnamed Peach game, Princess Peach game, and we don't know much about it. They had like about five seconds of gameplay, and they're going to do an update 
of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, which I believe was from the 3DS. And I played Luigi's Mansion 3. It's a blast. I'd like to go back and play it because I never had any of the handheld Nintendo. So this will be fun for me to get my hands on. As a, new, as a Nintendo fan, we're used to getting games that have hit other systems way late, w months, maybe even a year or so after I'm looking at you, Hogwarts Legacy. But now we are getting the Arkham Trilogy. Oh my gosh. How, how awesome is this? I've, I've seen the gameplay. It looks amazing. I know people that literally will just sit around and debate which one of these three is the best. We're now on the Switch going to be able to get all three ported to our Switch. And I cannot wait. I will buy it the moment it pre-order comes out without a doubt. Now next we've got we've got Gloomhaven. And Gloomhaven was apparently a board game that's been ported that's not I should stop saying ported, but has been remastered to become an online game. And there's lots of similar card style, turn style games that have been like this. This looks really good because it calls back to a lot of the old style fantasy gaming uh, that you had on PC. Just the style looks good. The gameplay looks good. I, I probably wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't buy it. But man, if we could still rent video games, remember renting video games? I would rent this one. And if I liked it, I'd buy it. Um, I may have to give it a try. Um, Just Dance 2024 edition got announced. Moving on, Silent Hope looks really solid it looks like a solid fantasy rpg game i know there's a lot of those out there but the basic storyline is the king silenced everyone in the kingdom and can't talk and that makes the storyline extremely intriguing which means i'm probably getting this because it's going to be interesting it's going to be different it's not going to be the same thing rehashed over and over again so absolutely i'm in for it then they announced quickly a few three free game, not free, but minor games. We've got Fae Farms, uh, which looks like uh, Farmville for fairies. I mean, that's just what it looks like. Uh, then we've got Hot Wheels 2 Unleashed, or Hot Wheels Unleashed number two. And I've never played the first one, but they said you can update and you can change your Hot Wheel upgrade, things like that. It's a racing game. I'm a big Mario Kart fan, so I think I'm actually going to give this one a shot. And the third one was Manic Maniacs, and honestly, it looks like a mobile game that was ported to the Switch. It may be good, maybe not, but I'm probably going to pass on this one. And the next, we're getting another DLC update for Mario and Rabbids Spark of Hope. It looks pretty good. I just, I like the gameplay. It's fun. It's entertaining. But after a while, it does get a little, little, little repetitive. But the DLC gives us a whole new area, a whole new musical island to explore. And if one thing this I could ask for a DLC, it's for the DLC to go back and turn off the rabbits from speaking English. They're supposed to be unintelligible and not be able to be understood. That's the whole mystique of the rabbits. So let's hope they fix that. Moving along, we've got Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. This looks typically like your typical Pokemon Digimon game. You know, the monster evolution, but it looks different. Um, this would be one that, if given to me, I would play it and probably enjoy it. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. There's people that love this style of game, and good for them. Go for it. This looks really good. From all the gameplay, all the, all the screenshots that I've seen of it, look good. It looks like it's well made. Then we've got Pikmin 4 coming out this year, and I thought that was cool. I already knew it was coming. They've already released some footage over the past, but they officially announced it. But the surprise was, is they're porting Pikmin 1 and 2 to the Switch. Now, at this rate, if they keep doing these old ports of the game, I may not ever have to pull my GameCube out, GameCube out again, which would be nice. Uh, but Pikmin 1, 2, you can already get 3 for the Switch, and 4, you can have all the Pikmin games. And to this day, I still can't play this without thinking of Lemmings. And if you understood that reference, you're old. And then, what another great announcement. We've got 
Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 coming out. Volume 1. That means Volume 2 is coming out, which I can't wait for. It's going to be great. Uh, this is like the first three games that were released on PlayStation and the first two original games that were on the NES. There may be more. The collection... Uh, I haven't looked. I didn't look at the details of all the games in the collection, uh, but because I just straight up went to the eShop, pre-ordered it today before I started this video. So I'm gonna get it the moment it comes out. I'm ecstatic. Then we've got another game called Vampire Survivors. Now Vampire Survivors looks like a lot of the games that you see advertised on those free apps or Facebook or Instagram. It looked just like this. This is a little different. It has been on Steam for a while and you're able to upgrade your monster, your weapons, and things like that. And it has co-op play, which is great. So it's better than the mobile games. But if they, if they make the price more than it is on Steam, it's not going to do well. It's about five bucks on Steam. So let's just keep it, let's keep it low, Nintendo. Let's keep it low. Next, next one we've got is Headbangers Rhythm Royale. Now this looks like kind of a childish, funny game, but it really looks fun, I'll be honest. It's one of those games, if I if I have it, I will play it and I'll enjoy it and I'll never tell anybody I have it because I'll feel slightly embarrassed, but it looks so much fun. I really want to get my hands on it. Maybe just play it with my kids and then see how it works out. But we'll, but we'll get there when we when it comes out. We'll see how, we'll see how it is price-wise. We got Penny's Big Breakaway, which was announced. Now, based on the mechanics, this looks like they took Spider-Man and Sonic and merged them together, uh, which isn't a surprise because I believe Private Division actually made an older version of Sonic, not the last one, but maybe two or three back. They did. They were in chart. There were a studio that created a Sonic game for Sega, so it's going to be. It may be good. I'm not a big fan of the graphics of the actual. The care, not graphics. The graphics look good. The character design looks bad to me, but I'll give it a shot. Next, we've got Fifth Wave of Mario Kart 8. I'm absolutely ready. So they say summer 2023, which there's going to be one more wave, and they've been doing four for this year, which means it's probably going to be August and and December. So this one's probably coming out August, and we got three characters already already announced. Uh, Wiggler, Petey Piranha, and Kamek. Now, these characters are hilarious. I like the look of them. And if you don't think I'm actually going to get Wiggler riding the Wiggler car and try not to laugh the moment the download is complete, you're sorely mistaken. We They did announce a new track, as you can see in the Wiggler and the Petey Piranha. It looks kind of like a bathroom, soapy, sudsy feel. Uh cart uh, cart race they didn't announce the three that they're going to be pull, pulling in from previous games for the Grand Prix so we'll just have to wait and then in December we'll get the other two final characters and another four courses uh, that we can four tracks that we can race so I'm excited I can't wait to play these guys and see how well they do next coming up we've got Star Ocean the second story R now I've never heard of it but watching this, it's 2D animation for the characters in a 3D animated world. This looks stellar. This looks like a video game that's made today, but ported in the characters from like the original Final Fantasy on NES. It just seems like it's an homage to that, and it looks good. It looks sleek, and I really am excited for it. I didn't know this existed, but now I've got to have it. I will be playing this. Probably from November 2nd till Thanksgiving, and hopefully finish it before then. So, the next we've got Wario Wave, WarioWare Move It. I know there's been quite a few games of these. I believe they kind of took off more on the Wii. I've never played them. I don't know if I'll get it. I'm not big on motion control, but the fact that it does look silly from behind and means I will probably get it for the one and only reason that I will play with my kids and we'll probably spend more time laughing at each other than actually playing the game. So, 
Could be a fun game. Could be not. Don't know. Uh, if you've out there and you've played it, you've played the other WarriorWare games, let me know in the, down below what you think. Uh, next announcement was Nintendo Live 2023. is coming September 1st through 4th through Seattle, Washington. And I'll be honest, I'd really like to go. But not enough to actually go to Seattle. So, maybe next year when they go somewhere else, I'll give it a shot. But those that want to go, there it is. It's great. It's it's just Nintendo fandom for three days straight. It's it's Nintendo heaven. So, but let's let's go on to the next announcement, which was the Tears of the Kingdom amiibos. We knew these were coming. These were data mined weeks ago, and we knew the amiibos. What they we knew there was Zelda and Ganondorf. We knew we know what the items they're going to drop are. We should know what they're going to look like or when they're we're officially going to be released. They've already been hacked and people have already been using them. But I, I'm not a big fan of that stuff. But I will say I will be getting these Amiibos. Because I already got the new Breath of the Wild one. Uh, with the release of the game. I mean, not Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo. The Link one. So, I really wish they would have announced that they're working on a DLC. Just, just make some of us fans feel better. Because we're getting to that point where now we're just being crazy and playing. You've seen the videos. But it is what it is. Maybe the next Nintendo Direct in a few months we'll get something, some more information. And finally, the last announcement was Super Mario Brothers Wonder. This is a side scroll updated with 3D graphics, 3D shading, and modeling. And it looks really good. New items, new abilities. It's going to be just your standard Super Mario Brothers game. But better, just like they always have in the past. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. And like Super Mario RPG, Super Mario Odyssey, and all these other ones out there, we're going to get this. We're going to play it. We're going to love it. I just know we are. And that's the end of the announcements for today from Nintendo Direct, June 2023. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it.